All right, it's day day eight. Unbelievable. Um, spent the last two and a half days, so part of day five, day six, and day seven at the Motel 6 here in Lordsburg. Um, just taking care of my feet. If you saw the videos, I'm guessing I put some pics up of my feet. They're as good as they're going to get before heading back out, but I'm not going to sit here any longer. It's about um, three days to Silver City, three or four, and um, I'm packed up and ready to get out of here and start putting some miles on again, because sitting here alone really blows, so let's get going on the trail. Well, <coughs> it's about three or so, whatever mile road walk out of town is about over. The sign for the Gila Cliff Dwellings. I'm gonna shoot off into there somewhere pretty quick. I'm gonna jump this little fence somewhere. And then uh, I'm off to there. Wherever that leads me today. I'm shooting for 15. It's feeling pretty easy today, so that's a good sign. So I'm glad this road stuff's almost done. It's nice, it's a little bit overcast, but the sun's not beating down on me. If I have to, have to guess, I see a little spot in the fence up here with like a yellow flag on it or whatnot, maybe that's and that's where I go. So I put this away so I can get through the fence. So yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I jumped the fence. Um, but this is another one of those spots where there's absolutely nothing to tell you where you're supposed to go other than opening up the gut hook app, looking at a map, and going, yeah, I'm going that away. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going that away. Uh, I think there's a fence I'm gonna run into up here a little ways and then I'll figure out where I'm supposed to cross that fence and hopefully that puts me on more of a trail or something that looks like a trail or something like that. But I don't I don't know. I don't think I go up into those hills. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I should look farther ahead on the map. Realistically, I'm just trying to get to the, the right spot in the fence. So, one step at a time, I guess. Every once in a while I see a footprint out here, or, I don't know, cow track, horse track. Something walked across here. But I'll figure it out. Not too much harassment by dogs as I came out of town. I mean, I barked at, but nothing came, even came out of their yard or anything like that. So that's good. Made for a peaceful way out of town. But yeah, dang. Uh, Got a sign. Would be good. I don't think I'm gonna find any rock cairns out here, because unless they build a cairn out of cow flops, that's not happening. But the day is young. I still have the energy to deal with whatever happens. So the ground is nice and spongy. I'll give it that much. It is pleasant to walk on without a trail.
I'm gonna go figure out, I'll look at my map a little more and figure out where I'm supposed to cross this fence coming out later. All right, well, I'm starting to see some signs, so that's cool. A little better light. Oh, Coors Light. No, regular Coors. Don't mind if I do banquet beer. That's probably empty. But it's the thought that counts, you know. That's uh, that's what we appreciate. I can pretend I'm having a beer at 9:30 in the morning, about four and a half miles out of town. Have a sip of water. Pretend I'm having a beer. Pretend I just finished mowing the lawn and I'm having a beer. Well, I guess um, from what I hear back home, I can pretend I just finished shoveling the snow and I'm having a beer. I'm not having a beer. All right, I'm gonna watch for signs. All right, so this is kind of good news. Um, I've covered five miles already since I left town. This is the first real break I've taken. I didn't take it because my feet hurt or I was tired or uh, anything like that. I just took it because I looked down and I'd been hiking a couple hours. And it was time to have, you know, the other half of my breakfast. I was feeling kind of hungry, but. I, I'll take that as a good sign um, that things are heading the right direction for my feet and, and things like that. So I'm going to get this 15 done, uh, no problem if this is the, the way it's going. So anyway, I'm just uh, having something to eat, watching out for ants. Found a little piece of shade, although it's not hot out, it's overcast-ish. I mean, it's there's clouds with pieces of sun. I found a little bit of shade to sit in, but it's absolutely comfortable out here. This is really, it's a really good day. Take it. I'm going to stop and record real quick. Um, kind of interesting little piece of the desert. A lot of cactus, a lot of these trees. Pretty cool. I mean, just a bunch of them. Just came through this little wash that was kind of an interesting leap because it was deep and crunchy. But yeah, just an interesting little spot here on the trail. And those things poke you a lot. I learned that on the PCT, so I haven't been poked too many times here, but. And it looks like I've got another fence coming up. There's one of my marker signs. Keeps me on track. Yeah, the next one isn't really obvious, but there's a little piece of, like a little bit of trail here. So I can just kind of stick with that and makes life a little easier. Makes things go a little faster. And These fences are fun because sometimes they're built for fat people like me, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're loaded with barbed wire like this one is, so it'll shred your pack if you try and scoot through there. Um, so what you have to do is you put your, you kind of climb up, you put your one foot here and you kind of put your other foot there and you Kind of boost yourself over here. And if that doesn't work, um, which this one is set up kind of odd, so it might not, um, then you just have to take your pack off. So look at that look at the trail I get to follow right after this. And then I'm going to take a lunch up here, maybe half hour, 40 minutes, something like that. So I'm going to get through this. Alright, I'm sorry, I know it's super windy, but somehow I started following a lot of people's footprints who I think made the same mistake as I did. 
And now I've got some bonus miles to do along this fence line and I can see a sign up here to relocate the trail so I think I get a bonus half mile or so today um, thanks to hikers who came before me and cows so and it, this is either going one of two ways either I'm shouting ridiculously or I'm getting drowned out by the wind so either way I apologize I'm gonna go get back on trail okay um, <clears throat> finished lunch and uh, got one more five mile shot here I've kind of broken up the day into three five mile sections which isn't bad at all um, I got my last five mile shot here till uh, water source and potentially where I'm going to camp um, I have not seen a single other person out here today so that's kind of it's kind of nice actually you know missing the trail fam but um, it is nice to be out here by yourself and checking things out and you can have huge conversations with yourself and uh, you don't have to feel weird about it so that's cool oh there's some dead thing like laying right in the middle of the trail it's a dead steer or bull and uh, it's still got some hair on it so it's been dead a while but and get a little get a little of this action oh we I'm guessing you can see that yeah so interesting not living its best life anymore um, so that was cool I'm gonna step over your carcass thank you um what else oh well, I'm heading up into these mountains behind me so from these last five miles are mildly uphill I think there's like a thousand feet of elevation gain I'll be still below 6,000 even when I get up there so nothing too dramatic that way um, although this has been exposed now and not cloudy anymore I don't feel the need for the umbrella right now it's just really nice out I mean it's warm but I don't feel like it's sucking the life out of me um, the blister pain is kind of sucking the life out of me um, but I don't think I'm making anything worse but I'm also not doing anything to let things get better either so um, but it's like I said before it's like a quick three days into Silver City and then I'll do another break and reassessment and go from there so now that the wind's kicking up I'm gonna shut this off and keep hiking Well, that about winds it up for today. Um, hit the 100 mile mark. I uh, got, um, oh, just my feet were done and I was done and everything was done. <laughs> uh, I already ate, so setting up camp was super easy. Um, just making contact with a few folks and um, gonna get some sleep. I think I'm gonna get up early. There's supposed to be uh, some water stashed by a highway. Um, about six miles from here, so I'm going to shoot for that. And if that's not happening, um, there was another. Uh, there's a trail angel doing trail magic. Uh, about um, 
12 to 14 miles away, something like that. So I'll just make a run for that. Um, that's what I know. So I'm going to call it quits tonight. Uh, it was a long day. I'm glad I left town though. It was time. Um, I did see one other person. I saw one gal way back at one of the water sources at a windmill. So I did see one other person today, but that was it. And she stayed back there and I kept on down the trail here. So I'm all on my lonesome tonight, which, you know, I guess I won't feel bad squeaking around on my mattress or, um, you know, coughing in the middle of the night or get whatever. I, mean, I can be as noisy as I want. Um, it does look a little bit like mountain lion territory. Uh, I passed through a cattle operation. I got a young, lot of young stock right now, and so hopefully they load up on the young stock and not on me. Um, that's what I know. Good night.